But when we are begotten again, it is a seed that is incorruptible. It's the Word of God living and remaining to the age. When we look at what Peter says about born again, we realize the difference. You see, it says in source, you have been born again from a parentage that doesn't perish. You cannot go round saying to people, have you been born again? Because the real message of that verse is not this. In new it says you have been born anew, which is a different thing. In WPNT it says having been begotten again. And the thing is, we need to understand that it's not what they say in relation to John, John ch chapter 3. It's total error. It has nothing to do with our experience. We don't come out of that scene at all. We have been naturally born of a seed that is corruptible. But when we are begotten again, it is a seed that is incorruptible. It's the Word of God living and remaining to the age. Because I want to say this, the Baptists have filled our churches with error. And I am shocked to discover it because I thought they just believed that we do. They don't. They believe that you are degenerated and become born again and regenerated. Now that's ridiculous. This whole being is degenerated and when I am born anew or again, my being is not regenerated. Your body dies. Your soul is full of carnality and sin. You're not regenerated. And then they say, from that regeneration, you are able to do the good things, legally following the law. It's about dependence on water baptism. If we have to depend on water baptism for salvation, we're on the wrong track, we're not saved. Now we have always said that in our Pentecostal circles in relation to the Church of Christ and so forth, but nobody ever knew about the Baptists. This is absolutely amazing to me because all my life all I ever heard was they're like us, they're not like us at all. To start off with, they say you have to be led by the Spirit but it has to be in accordance with what your community believes, your church, your autonomous local church. You're not led by the Spirit of, at all. If we have to believe what my denomination says, I am not led by the Spirit, I'm led by a denomination, which I have been all my life. Now, my denomination had a lot of truth. We need to understand that John chapter 3 has a relationship to the Pharisees that we do not. And it has a relationship to Judaism, which we do not. Nobody ever knew about the Baptists. This is absolutely amazing to me because all my life all I ever heard was they're like us, they're not like us at all. To start off with, they say you have to be led by the Spirit but it has to be in accordance with what your community believes, your church, your autonomous local church. You're not led by the Spirit of, at all. If we have to believe what my denomination says, I am not led by the Spirit, I'm led by a denomination, which I have been all my life. Now, my denomination had a lot of truth. We need to understand that John chapter 3 has a relationship to the Pharisees that we do not. And it has a relationship to Judaism, which we do not. If we have to believe what my denomination says, I am not led by the Spirit, I am led by a denomination, which I have been all my life.